Welcome to our tutorial on evaluating sources. In this tutorial, I will go over some of the important things you should keep in mind when deciding whether to include a source in your paper. Now, your knowledge of this source will allow you to think critically about legitimacy, validity, and reliability. Determine whether this is a current source or whether it is outdated. Keep in mind that the answer to this question will vary based on the discipline. Some disciplines, like medicine and technology, require the most up-to-date sources, so recent literature is usually published in the last one to three years, while some disciplines, like history or philosophy, may understand recent literature to have been published in the last ten or more years. Also consider the authority of the source's creators. Who published this source? Is the author an expert on this topic who has published other works on similar topics? Keep your eyes open for bias here, too. What are some possible motivating factors for publishing the piece, and what kinds of biases would that encourage? Are there any signs of bias within the text, such as a pointed way of categorizing data or politically charged buzzwords? Remember that answering a research question is not the same thing as having bias, although there are often multiple plausible answers to a research question. Try to figure out at what point in the research process the author formulated his or her claim. Better sources will have generated a claim on the basis of methodological engagement with evidence rather than imposing a claim in advance and designing the research to support that claim. Consider the method again. What are the strengths and limitations of the method the author chose, and is there anything he or she could have done to collect better or different data? Do other scholars use similar methods? What other methods could the scholar have used? Similarly, ask yourself whether the evidence presented is reliable and valid. Why or why not? Finally, pretend you are the researcher analyzing the data. Do the inferences this author makes seem plausible? Does the article adequately demonstrate its claims, or does there seem to be a gap in the evidence presented? How else might someone interpret the evidence or look at the problem? Even though you may decide a source is reliable, it may not be a good fit for your unique research question. In fact, if you have a well-defined research question of adequate specificity, many of the sources you find early in the research process will not ultimately be a good fit. Ask yourself whether or not this source is relevant to your topic. Where would it fit into your specific research question, and in what ways might it be valuable to you or your audience in trying to learn about this topic? Do the research methods and evidence meet the standards of quality, reliability, and validity that would justify discussing the article in the paper you will ultimately write? Do not be too quick to discount a source, however. Even if it turns out that the argument is irrelevant to your question, could the data be of use? If so, just make sure you can confidently determine whether they were reliably collected before using them for your own analysis. Also, remember that you can offer a critique of the research methods or the quality of evidence in your discussion of an article so long as you think that the article is significant or otherwise of value in your research. Knowing a source well enough to evaluate it is an important part of the research process. The value of a source comes not only from how it relates to your own question, but also how it relates to your other sources.